Hello and welcome back. It's been a while. <clears throat> Excuse me, just clear my throat. I found some Roman nuts. That must mean that in the scantily clad lady on the screen must mean we are playing Kudalka. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And we are now... Where, where is the pendant? I've got the pendant. I picked the pendant up. He's wearing the pendant. I'm wearing the pendant, right? Yes, that's the pendant. Stop being so worrisome. God. But yes, we're back playing Kidalka. I will eventually fix that, but we're only, I don't know, we're about an hour or two away from the end of the game. Now, bearing in mind I do on average probably about 20 minute videos. Um, so we're two, four, six, uh, probably about four, maybe five videos from the end. Depending on how long it takes me to do various different things. Mm. I dislike when I don't hit with my magic. Dislike even more when I just realize I made a boo boo and hit the wrong creature first. So, yes, we are on disc three. We only have one more disc to go. We're actually probably about, yeah, halfway through disc uh, three as well. I mean, disc 3 is a very short disc, much like disc 1. Um, and that bat's just crazy. <laughs> Bat shit crazy. Um, I am trying out a new microphone. So, I don't know if this is coming through very well. But we will make do. Because... It Oh no, I just did the wrong thing. <laughs> we will make do because, you know, that's what we have to do. We have to make do. Um, so, don't get backed into a corner, Kay. Don't get backed into a corner. Thing's bloody crazy. Look at that thing. The first thing to do proper damage to me, the entire disc. Um, I don't know if we are going to go back and kill the gargoyle, um, to be honest. Uh, it's sort of a 50-50 at the moment. Mainly to do with the fact of... I'm not quite sure I'm going to be leveled up to a point where... It's going to be a fun battle, and I'm also not 100% sure on whether I'm actually going to be able to beat him or not. Um, so yeah, so we might not get the legendary sword either, because to get the sword you have to beat the gargoyle. In fact, when you beat the gargoyle, what happens is that if you... If it, the uh, sword that we found in the garden, if we were to pick that one up, it kind of looks like the Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. Um, yes, you remember the one? Yes. One on there, one on there. And we'll have two on there, I think. Um, basically, that... That sword. So I just had a bit of slowdown then, and seemed to disappear quite rapidly. Uh, that sword is actually uh, a legendary sword, most powerful sword in the game. Blah blah blah. I uh, can't carry any more of that. So okay, okay. Um, but ultimately, isn't hundred percent needed. For the game, 
because you know you can beat the game without it. Aha! Oh no, 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 I need that. Weird triangular looking thing is actually Vigna's door. Always play at graves, especially when you are in grave danger. You see why this dude is like my favorite character in any video game ever. If anybody's wondering what that crackle noise is, it's just my vape. I am a monk from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. Oh, yes, you are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. My shriveled up appearance. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But... My profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> uh, that's if you can be called a man. I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. Though I hesitate to answer questions regarding my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. But tell me. Usually I would like to try and talk through most of this and make stupid remarks, but I love this character. And I just plan to rest for a while. What year is it anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to fool me or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own was too big for the coffin. It's 1898. Lord have mercy. I've been asleep for close to a hundred years. Well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> anyway... As a token of my appreciation, I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. <laughs> Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to keep it quiet, duh? Hmm? <laughs> Okie dokie. So we are tasked with making them be quiet. It won't be difficult. Usually, <laughs> come where we use Daniel's arm. Well, I'm sure somebody will tell me at some point. Oh, fight in a graveyard. I wonder what we could be fighting. A mommy and a crow.
Mm. I just can't see that mummy moving across the screen very quickly. And y'all know crows is bad news. I'm not even joking, I do. Crows, bad news. The mummy looks like half and half. Right, guys, pro tip here. Um, as you can probably tell by the level of my spells and my character levels, even though that I am over two thirds of the way into the game, I am under leveled. It is very easy to play this game under leveled as long as you are leveled correctly. If you are finding at any point in this game that you are struggling, then that's because you are under leveled. And not just under leveled, but you're ill leveled. Which means that you need to go back and have a look at your stats and see where you're going wrong and what needs to be. Fuck off. I don't want to pick bread up. What do I want to pick bread up for? We're getting a bit slow down now. We were okay a minute ago. Um, so what you got to do guys is uh, just... Yes, we want to pray in front of Charlotte's grave. It's quite nice that she has a nice little grave out of the way. And everybody else has like these tattered and torn graves. I'm not actually sure if praying at Charlotte's grave does anything, but hey, can it? Can it? We've got the dolls now, so I think the next step is to find the boys and uh, get back to it. There we are, we are in the triangular hallway. Some more Roman nuts over here. Hey, now, this side or the other side? Well, that side's all caved in and there's nothing in here, is there? No. Okay. We've done the thing with the letters. We got the letters. Sorry, guys. I mean, it's been a while for you since you've seen a video, and it's been a while for me since I've played the game. As well as a bit hesitant on picking the disc up earlier because we could have picked it up then. Um, but I suppose it doesn't make any difference when we pick the disc up. Really, we have to pick it up at some point. Goodness, you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Really, where were they? They're dead. Apparently they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. Yes, they were. Reason. I've been saying that since the beginning and everybody's been ignoring all me was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Death? Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. Well, start believing it and start telling everybody the bloody truth, boy. Tell me. Who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the If you heard those beeps, it was me disconnecting and reconnecting my controller. Because I am an idiot. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I loved from a very early age. I 
was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England. And with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. Basically, this is a part of the story that I told you we would all find out later. And here it is. We are finding out later. I am a man of my word. Unlike James, who is a man of the cloth. And obviously not a man of his word. Yes, we know, James, you were in love with Elaine and oh, you stepped aside to allow your friend to take her as his wife and then one tragic night she died and you schemed together to bring her back to life but uh, alas, you created super awful psycho bitch. And any ladies watching this, I apologize, but she is super so awful, psycho bitch. You want to see this lady? She will mount your face. Quite literally. He boozed up. She died. She did. To the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. There's a lot of talking going on, and I don't think I like it. I'm more of a twatter in the face now, I ask questions much, much later type of guy. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? Here I go again on my own Going down the only road I've ever known You'll have to excuse me for a moment because apparently I've lost control Which wouldn't be the first time 